Here in my hand is a three-dimensional carbon nanotube sponge material. It's interesting material because it's elastic, compressible and flexible, very lightweight, but super hydrophobic, which means it hates water, but oleophilic, it loves the oil, and it can be used for environmental oil spill applications. It's a simple trick, essentially you add element of boron into the growth process, and you end up with these sponge-like, sheet-like material uh, that is made of entirely carbon nanotubes. So it's a very porous kind of architecture. First thing we'll notice is this sponge is super hydrophobic. It hates the water, and even if we would try to submerge it, it still wants to jump out of the water. It really stays dry even after forcing it under the water, it stays very dry. Another interesting uh, function or feature of these materials is they're very uh, ferromagnetic, so you can use a magnet to direct them and control their whereabouts. This is beneficial uh, because it helps us to salvage the carbon nanotube materials. So being able to control their whereabouts with a magnet will also help us control the materials and, and uh, salvage them once the oil has been absorbed. This is used engine oil I got from a, a local gas station. And what we're going to do is drop some of this oil into this water and have our sponge nanotube material absorb the oil selectively out of the water. So I'm going to take one of our carbon nanotube sponge materials and drop it right there on, on the oil. And you'll see immediately it starts to absorb the oil. Just removing the oil out of water is one thing, but we, don't, we want to be able to uh, reuse this oil and reuse the energy that it, it withholds. In this way, we could, we could burn it out or we can squeeze it out and reuse the oil for energy applications. After the sponge had been saturated with oil, we could burn it out to salvage the energy. And the oil inside is being burned and the carbon nanotube sponge remains intact. It's special because when the burning process goes on, the carbon nanotube sponge material remains and it's able to be reused for oil absorption once again. So now this is the material after burning. We could now reuse this and put it on top of another oil spill and try to absorb the oil.